Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharva here and in this video, we're going to explore V0 by Vercel. So V0 is an AI product offered by Vercel, which can generate React components and even have some cool styles with it using Tailwind. And I just got early access to V0 and I still haven't tried it out. So I thought like, let's try it out live in, in a video. So here we are and I'm going to use V0 for the first time and let's see if it's useful or not and how great is it and is it really going to change anything in the future about front-end development. Before we get our hands dirty, let's look at the FAQ page of V0. So we are at v0.dev slash FAQ and let's see what's, what is V0. Um, as, I, as I said, it's a system powered by AI. It's used to generate components using React and stuff. And there's, there's a lot of information here. So they have made it really clear about how this thing is going to work. So for example, they, are, they also made it clear that is it using Vercel customer data like deployment? And they said, no, it's not using it. And there are a lot of different questions. So if you, are, if you want to look at them before moving to V0, just go to this page and you should look at this and see for yourself if you want to use it. And if you also have this pricing page here, let's open on this new tab. And we get a gist of the initial pricing of V0. So we are obviously on the free plan, but there are other plans here and there are 1,500 1, credits in the basic and 200 credits in the free plan per month. And I don't know how these credits are used. So like is one generation is one credit. I am not really sure we are going to see it right now, but yeah, this is the pricing. And if it is really that useful, this pricing is totally justified. So let's look at it. Let's see if it's really useful or not. And let's try to generate some component and use them in the react apps. So we are at V0 and it is asking us to accept the pre-release ag agreement and let's start generating. Let's agree the agreement and we should be presented with the V0 dashboard. Uh, is it really dashboard? I, I didn't really know. So what should we try to generate? Let's generate a contact card. I guess uh, with photo props and uh, probably a uh, I think I guess cover cover image prop. Let's try to search this. Let's try to generate. We have some progress. Oh, so we can also iterate on these and improve this. That's that's cool. Yeah, it's 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 literally drawing in front of me. Like I I I accidentally skipped the part where it made the cover image and stuff. But damn, this is good. Okay. I think we need the photo a bit more in a good place, not really between the cover image. So let's try to tell it them don't add the profile photo directly in the middle of cover image. Just add it about the name half inside the cover image. I hope this really understands my broken English. Let's try to generate this. I mean, it really generated this and I'm, I'm just impressed by it. Like this is awesome by itself. Like I don't need to tell you that you can just see, like you can save a lot of time just creating components, like instead of wasting a lot of time. Mm, I hope it really understood what I meant to say. No, I don't think so. It did. Okay. So what's the code? Let's look at the code. Except that this is not accepting the props, right? We need to make that by ourselves. I think it didn't really understand my command before. Okay. Let's try to make a block card instead. And we will, we will try that in our next JS application after we generate it. So let's try something, a block card with a cover image, date of writing, title, description, 
what else do we need i think uh, author's name i think that's i think that's that's all um yeah let's generate this if you want to see me create an entire blog website with just using components with v0 just just like this video and write a comment that hey that i should do this 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 seems cool it's like if i want to make an entire website this really looks good so let's wait for this to generate and i i'm not going to skip this time because i want to show you how it generates in real time just look at it damn it also it also picked the best title and it also have different iterations here like the first one the cover image is not really good <laughs> in the second one they seem to have fixed it and i really like the second one and even third one so i think these can be useful for pretty different purposes the first one can be used for a magazine layout or basically some featured kind of post and the second one can be used for basically any different kind of post so yeah let's try to use this in a next.js application so i just created a next.js application and added tailwind to it using the create next app and let's create a new components folder here we are going to keep all generated components here and let's go back to our browser i don't know why edge logo is coming like that it's really weird okay so let's get the code for this one first okay so first let's follow the command i'll bring in my terminal okay we have some errors damn just i'm just going to use pnpx i don't even know what that error is at this point <laughs> okay so we need to create a components.json file by using this command okay let's try this we have to init v0 that's interesting i guess we should read documentation more instead of just trying out commands <laughs> with no purpose in mind okay anyways now i think that command should work again so let's try this should not take a lot of time this time around what should be named the component oh so it is going to create a component for me so block card small i guess what do you mean done where is it oh damn okay so it has this comment and damn i like this okay let's place this somewhere Let's remove everything. I don't want anything here. I'm just gonna have a div, and let's have the block card small. Let's save this, and I'm going. I'm pretty sure there is going to be some error because I have some styling issues here. We need to remove the base stylings, but let's check. npm run dev let's go back to edge okay it's using 3000 already oh yeah i have it started here so let's go to localhost 3000 missing required error components Okay. Okay, that that's that's some progress. That's really some progress. And I want to see if this component is intelligent enough to have that image in a very proper manner like if I have a big image it should not exceed the boundaries. So let's try it out. Um a large wallpaper I guess. I'm going to copy the image URL. Let's go back to VS Code and let's paste. Yeah, it does. It, yeah, it does really seem that they have handled it properly. And if they really did, I'm going to be pretty impressed. And yes, they have handled it so good. Okay, I'm really impressed about this and. I think that I'm going to create an entire website using only V0. 
I think it's going to be a pretty good idea. And I think it's good even if it's new. Like you can really change a lot of different things. Okay, it's definitely not perfect. So like the first prompt I provided is like a login screen with email, password, submit button and login with Google button. Card must be white and background must be blue. And it really provided a good card. But then I asked about reduce space before email label and also make the login with Google a blue button with Google logo. Now what it did, it didn't really remove any space, but it made the login with Google have a Chrome logo, which it's it's funny, but I mean, it's understandable. It's it's a private beta right now. And think uh, just like thinking of a private beta, it's really working good. Like I'm really considering to use it to create websites at this point. And I would really make a video using just components built using this and using just minimal tailwind code to create a website most preferably it's going to be a blog website but we are going to see and i'm going to create that video on this channel so yeah uh, this is the login screen i guess i'm going to try to get it in next year so i'm going to okay so let's copy the command let's go back to warp and let's paste this uh, let's have pnpx don't want to go through that and again now it should ask us the component name let's say login screen again this is not like the solution you want just to like create websites entirely using ai you need to have programming language and you need to know how stylings work and how to manipulate these stylings so that you can fit fit all of these components in your needs and these can work according to how you want it's not like you just copy these components and paste these and it will just start working magically there might be some cases where it just doesn't work and you need to you need to make some changes in this component so you really need to have some basic knowledge about styling in front end so we have the login screen component let's try to put it here i'm going to remove the block card login screen let's go back to edge okay yeah i mean the text it's pretty understandable because if we look at styles globals.css we have all these things here uh, we need to basically i think i'm going to remove everything here we don't need all of these things let's go back to edge no i need edge Okay, I'm not really understanding what's going on here. Okay, yeah. now now it seems to work, and for whatever reason, it already put in some saved password of me in mine. And if you look at it, it's the the gap is not really here that much. So if you go to canvas, like the gap is too much here, but it's not too much here. I just like it. Like even if it's not showing properly in canvas, it's they, uh, they fixed it, but it's really not showing in the so i mean it's really listening to your prompts and will i use this login screen ever in any of my application hell yeah this looks so good like of course i'll do some tweaking but this already looks so cool and i will use this one day for sure so yeah i guess that's all for testing i'm going to save my credits 1020 i started with 1300 i guess i'll just save it for some next project i'm going to create and for i'll i'll just share that on the youtube channel so yeah that's it for this video if you like this video make sure you click the like button leave your thoughts in the comments below or if you have any suggestions and also make sure you hit the subscribe button subscribing is free and if you want to unsubscribe you can always do that later if you don't like the channel but subscribing really gives a boost to this channel when it comes to the reach and if if any of my videos is providing value to you consider clicking the subscribe button it really helps me a lot i would love to al also know th your thoughts on v0 would you ever use it in a production application or a hobby application or would you like literally never want to use it i think that even if it's in private beta it's really performing good right now like the login screen i showed you it's like literally the best one i have ever made using ai even chat gpt cannot 
make something like this so yeah uh, that's it for this video guys if you have any suggestions make sure you leave them in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya bye